Hey guys, so today I'm going to be attempting to add kind of a fake root to my hair. I will leave a timestamp so that you can skip straight to just me doing it because um, I know not everybody likes to hear all the tips and tricks. As you can see, I'm pretty much all one color right now. My roots are only just starting to grow in. I have been solidly bleaching my hair for almost a year. I have to bleach my roots like every four weeks. Uh, my hair grows pretty fast and when it grows in it's like a very harsh line and makes it look so bad like so contrasty so my goal is to subtly soften um, my root area by adding a dark blonde which is similar to my natural color on my roots before I start I'm not a professional and I have tried this somewhat this technique before. I followed the tutorial by uh, hair guru Elle Bangs and where she kind of did everything vertically. It's a very popular like reverse balayage video on YouTube and I tried that a few years ago and I did not really love the way that it turned out. So I've been watching tons of video of people trying it themselves. One that really stuck out to me as like kind of a realistic outcome was at a channel here on YouTube. It is called A Bleach Life, which I think is really unique. She's got uh, also bleach blonde hair. And she did this technique. I will link her video and channel down below. She also has a really nice Instagram. I think she has a blog or something. Um, but she's really cool, really chill, and I think her outcome is probably a little bit more realistic. I try to somewhat mimic that and like also add my own flair on things. I do like to test out different combinations and like hair colors on like hair extensions and also I did test it out on like a piece in here as well. Okay so I've mixed up the color and I used the entire tube of this Wella Color Charm Demi Permanent 7A and the formula for this one is actually one part color to two parts developer and I actually just use this Clairol Demi developer no lift. Um, it doesn't say what volume developer but it says no lift so I assume this is 10 volume developer. I wanted to add that any 10 volume would work just fine. I would recommend using a brush like this with a very skinny end on it so that you can part your hair very easily at the same time. Let's do this. Okay, so first I started by putting a little bit on my roots on either side of my main part. And then I took kind of like a diagonal horizontal section like that and painted on either side. I ended up leaving out quite a large chunk in the front because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with that yet. I just knew that I wanted to make sure I got as little um, dark color as possible on my very front pieces. And then I just made a, another kind of diagonal horizontal section and did the same thing where I painted on a little bit um, on both sides. And then I just did the exact same thing on the other side. So, so far I've done two vertical lines on each side of my head. So then for the areas a little bit further back, I started with horizontal um, painting sections. And that's because the horizontal can come down a little bit further and whereas like the vertical really keeps the brightness pretty much right at the top of my head. Um, so I went down quite a few layers just with some horizontal um, painting on both sides. I would say I probably did like five or six uh, partings down. I didn't end up doing like the very underneath of my hair um, just because you can't really see it and honestly I just I don't know I just don't think if you can't see it don't need to bother so um, yeah I did this for a while and then repeated it on the other side
after I did the horizontal sections, I went through the places where I did the horizontal sections and pulled out a couple vertical diagonal lines, just like I did the front, just to, I don't know, keep it consistent with the front a little bit. Um, and I found that this really helped with the depth in the end. So definitely don't skip that part. Then I put the mirror in place so that I could see from that mirror to the other mirror so I could do the back, which was a total bitch to do. Basically, I just kind of went down my center part and then did like a couple vertical sections within that kind of back-ish section. Honestly, it's kind of a mess and I have no idea <laughs> what actually happened back there, but it worked out. Um, totally recommend having a friend. So after I was done with this, I just left it on for like 15 minutes. So it was probably on for a total of 30 minutes by the time I started. And then I just hopped in the shower and literally rinsed with really, really cold water so that the colors wouldn't bleed. I stopped blow drying my hair because I feel like this looks pretty patchy. So I've still got lots of dye left here. I'm not going to go through and do the whole thing again. But I think I'm going to try and even this part out a little bit. Okay, so this is after the second go. I think it looks much better now. Um, there are still a couple places that I think are a little bit chunkier than I'd like. Uh, pretty much right there. And maybe like on the same, same place on the other side. Sucks I had to do it twice, but that's okay. Live and learn, right? And here, like I think it looks super natural and um, when I part my hair on the side I think it'll look really nice and by like not doing like I didn't pull my hair back and do these parts and I think by doing that um, I kind of gave myself more of a highlighted look if you can kind of see that um, and I think the back looks pretty good too I mean I'm not as concerned with the back but as long as it's not like a super straight up straight line of the darker color then i'm good with that thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped you guys out and if not then maybe it was at least fun to watch um i will see you guys in my next video very shortly bye